different shadings. And then yung stars, the color yellow. And then yung favorite ko, Stickman. Pagkano naman to? Ah, one million lang po. Tama pa po siya. One million? Okay. Hindi naman to artwork. <laughs> Miss Artworks for Sale, pwede po makita. Yuck. 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 Ano to? One million. One million. Ito yung value niya? What is value? Is this the value? Is this the true value? That is not value. Value, value is the gradations of tone from light to dark. Now, I will show you an example before you go and ask yourself questions. Take a look at these three pictures of three beautiful people. Does this show value? Does this show value? No, it does not show value because it is a very flat picture for documentation purposes. Here are some pictures which show value. Again, value refers to the gradations of tone from light to dark that can be observed in any object under the play of light. In visual arts, it can be studied in a black and white or chromatic drawing and painting. Value is more than just light and shadow. It is also mood, atmosphere, climate, and temperature that is continually shifting, delicately elusive, and transitory. Black and white cinema can have a powerful and memorable images if the director takes value into account. An example is Phil de la Cruz with his work Goddess of the South, which practices the difficult art of mezzotint that creates black and white landscapes, which are evocations of forests. Fun fact! Mezzotint printmaking method was invented by the German amateur artist Ludwig von Siegen, and his first work was the portrait of Countess Amelia Elizabeth of Hanau Munzenberg. In painting, value is often synonymous with chiaro oscuro, chiaro meaning clear and oscuro meaning dark. There are different approaches to value in painting. First, a painting may be evenly painted with an eminent clarity of form and high saturation of use. Examples of artworks are paintings of Pietro Perugino's Lorenzo di Credi and the famous painting of Leonardo da Vinci, Mona Lisa. Second, a painting may show a wide range of values in a rich and highly nuanced chiaroscuro. This style is best exemplified in Baroque paintings like those of Rembrandt, the Mill, and the Philosopher in Mediation, and the famous painting of Leonardo da Vinci, The Last Supper. Another famous painter is John Vermeer, 
It is mastery of tones which renders the atmospheric space of an interior of a home palpable and convincingly real. For him, pearl, a milky white orb with soft gray shadows and iridescent reflections, was the symbol of perfection which is often seen in his works. Lastly, a painting may also show dramatic lighting or high contrast of light and dark. Baroque paintings of Michelangelo Caravaggio, such as the conversion of St. Paul, exemplify this. Another artist, George de la Tour, also used dramatic lighting. His handling of value was more gentle, like his painting of the child Jesus with St. Joseph. Mannerist painting also made use of dramatic lighting, but for sensational effects. It was the Impressionist who brought a scientific and analytical approach to light. The Impressionist investigated the effects of light on a subject at different times of the day, different seasons of the year, and in varying conditions. An example is the work of Claude Monet's Rayouen Cathedral, which shows the perceptible transformation of its facade from the light warm use to the violet shades of evening. Water was a favorite subject of the Impressionist because it captured the ever-changing and capricious quality of light. Mist and fog, which is produced by light and water vapor, is an important feature in the work of Monet's Gary St. Lazare. The ever-changing quality of light creates a continual flickering movement on the surface of things, a characteristic which makes Impressionism a painterly style. This effect is brought out by quick, spontaneous brushstrokes of pure color from the pint-loaded brush. Degas and Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec also observed the effects of artificial light in dance halls, cabarets, and theaters. Here, the light often has a livid cast. Violet and acid yellow tones on the faces of the night habituals are suggestive of sickness and decay.
Value of sculpture is first of all related to the material used. For example, marble has a natural sheen. Bronze reflects the light. Alabaster is translucent with inner glow, and some woods have a matte finish while some are naturally shiny. To bring out the values of light and dark, the surface may be polished smooth or incised and marked for a rugged, irregular effect. An example is Henry Moore's reclining figure. It has hollows and protuberances, projections and recesses, concave and convex sections which are in turn illuminated or in shadow. There are also the works of Laszlo Moholy Nagy and Castrillo that is considered as constructivist sculpture because of the materials chrome and plexiglass, whereas luminal sculpture creates a 3D play of lights, shadows, and reflections through the use of light bulbs. In architecture, value can be found in the kind of materials used and their combinations. Some materials have a range of tonal values from light to dark. Value can also be found in the architectural design itself. The row of columns of the Parthenon of the Greeks create a play of light and dark as its components cast shadows which shift position in the course of day. The Renaissance palazzos of Italy have a flat facade. In contrast to this, Baroque architecture, such as Francesco Borromini's San Carlo alle Quattro Fontane, 
features curvilinear motifs and surface movement due to convex and concave elements. Philippine works include the Baroque facade of San Jeronimo, Draga Church, Betis Church, Miagao Church, and San Vicente Church. Chinese tonal painting. What is Chinese tonal painting? I will show you how to make a Chinese tonal painting. Since it is the most refined form of brush and ink. Watch. I am the sensei. Brush. And ink. example of Chinese tone of painting. So let me show you some better examples of the Chinese tone of painting. The tonal paintings of the Song Dynasty are among the most refined in the art of brush and ink. In white and black tones, they convey the fullest of meaning through sparing means. Their paintings combine Taoist and Shan Buddhism or Zen philosophies. An example of Chinese tonal painting is the Six Persimmons of Muqi. In this work, one is made aware of the role of institution and insight.
So